Hey, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about puffiness under eyes and what you can do if you have that. So I'm going to share different techniques, tips with you guys. But really, really quickly, if you're new here, I share makeup, skincare, and sometimes fashion for us mature ladies. If that's something that interests you, please smash that subscribe button below and make sure you click that notification bell too because I don't want you to miss out on any of my future content. Okay, let's get into it. Puffiness under eyes. Yep, I've had issues with that too. And there is um, some things that have really, really, really worked well for me. So I want to share them with you. And sometimes it, even though I'm using these things, sometimes I have to switch it up and try different things. Maybe I had too much sodium the night before. Maybe I had too much to drink. Well, I'm saying, okay. So you wake up with the puffy under eyes. Or maybe you didn't have enough sleep the night before. And you've got the puffy eyes, allergies, whatever. Here's some things that you can try. These things are wonderful. If I can find them, I will share this. I feel like these are hard to find. Um, but these are rose quartz and they're called an eye treatments, but basically these were from Angela Caglia skincare. I don't know if she still sells them and I will see if I can find them somewhere. But what they are is there it's, it's solid rose quartz. You keep them in the refrigerator. And then if you have puffiness or maybe you're doing a little mask, you know, we'll talk about that. You could even put this on. Oh my gosh, it feels amazing. If you have a headache or something, see how it fits like perfectly in there, perfectly there. Now, unless you have a serum, I wouldn't do this because it doesn't glide really easily. In my opinion, kind of pulls, drags. So if you wanted to kind of go back and forth, I would say put a serum underneath there or eye cream underneath there and just gently, gently go like this. But you can just literally just sit them on there and then put them there. You can put them above your eyes. It feels amazing. So the coldness from this is going to get rid of the puffiness. They have those, uh, they're called, I think they're called um, ice balls, I think they're called. And they're glass. They're glass and they have a liquid in them. You freeze them and then you can put those under your eyes as well. So just anything cold. Another thing, and I shared this recently and I love this if you're somebody that gets has hot flashes i would recommend this anyways because you're, you're gonna love this okay so this is from flawless and this is an ice roller so you can use it under your eyes it fits under there you can put it under your eyes you can even use it above your eyes you can use it on your whole face you can use it on your arm wherever okay but it does work for under your eyes for puffiness if you need to do that. And the nice thing about this is there's so many other uses for it, which what I liked about it, and it's a lot less expensive than the rose quartz that I just showed you. A lot less. I don't, I can't remember what I paid for it, but it wasn't that expensive. So you just keep it in the freezer. After you use it, I would recommend cleaning it really, really well and then putting it back in the freezer. Always make sure it's clean before I put it back in there. But I freaking love this. Again, really, really nice for getting down that puffiness. Another thing that you can try are these, and I always keep these in my refrigerator. This isn't my favorite product. I'm using this up. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it, but I think I'm going to look for something similar. These are from Pixie, and this is the Detoxify, so it has some caffeine in it. And these are little eye patches here. See? So you put them underneath your eyes. It feels wonderful, especially when it's cold. So what you could do is you could put these on lay down for a little bit you can get something like this and just really lightly just kind of move it around or you can kind of place it on there to give it a little bit more cold there so it'll help to shrink some of that puffiness these are nice like i said not my favorite i shared that before i have like a mix the thing that I don't like about these is they will leave a little bit of a film under my eyes. So when I put my eye makeup on, if I'm not putting eye makeup on that day, it's fine. But when I do, I find that sometimes I have a little bit of residue left and it's kind of messes with my concealer. Something else that you can do is use this eye cream. This eye cream is wonderful. It's, I'm not going to lie to you, it's expensive, but it's a really, really good one. And it, 
it, I feel like it lasts a long time too. So it's not, you're not going to go through it really quickly. One thing I want you to remember is anytime you use a, I say this all the time, but I have to repeat it because I feel like people waste product. Anytime you're using an eye cream or an eye concealer, whatever you're using under your eyes, you're only putting it in this tiny area. Don't go crazy with product because you're just wasting your money. Okay. So it's this eye cream. This is from Sanita. This is the Peptiderm eye cream. I love this. I love the packaging on it too because it's a pump. So you're not sticking your fingers in anything and contaminating it. I just love that about it. And you will get every last drop out of it because as it goes down, it will help push the product out. Just the packaging, it's just phenomenal on this. And it will help to eliminate your puffiness. When I first started using this, I was kind of like, I don't see anything. I kept using it, I saw a difference. So sometimes you have to use something for a while before you see a difference. Anytime you are using a new skincare product, especially if it's something that's supposed to eliminate something or, or you know make your skin glow or whatever it is, take a photo of your face before and after because sometimes there are changes but sometimes they're kind of subtle as it's changing and since you look at your face every day you may not notice it and then eventually you might be like I think I, I, think I see something you know what I mean or sometimes you don't because <laughs> that's happening to me too sometimes I'm like I don't see a change at all but that's what I would recommend but I do really really like this eye cream for puffiness under eye another thing that you can do is use something like this now what I'm going to show you is not a permanent solution. This is just a temporary solution that maybe you've been using all this and nothing is working and you don't have the money to go and get fillers put in or do any eye surgery and you're just like, Ugh, I need to do something. This could be the answer for you. I've shared this on my channel before. I freaking love this stuff. And it is this. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Eye Firm X. This stuff is amazing. It works. You have to put it on the right way though. Just like I just shared that when you're putting um, product under your eyes, you don't use a lot. Oh, this really holds true for this. I cannot tell you. You do not want to use a lot of product. I'm going to show you how much to use. I mean, this tube is going to last you a while. I mean, you get a lot of product in here, a ton, because you're using a minute amount. I'm only going to want to use about that much. And that might even be enough for both eyes. That's how much, that's how little you use. Use very little. I've shared videos. I'm not going to do it now because I have makeup on. But what you do is you take that, you go like this, and you tap, tap, tap it in there. Leave it alone. Don't overwork it. Let it dry. Don't make any expressions on your face either or you're going to have lines left there. So just sit there, let it dry. If you have a little bit of powder, because sometimes it creates this like little powder, just take your finger and just kind of blend it out. Sometimes it's not enough, so then I ha you have to reapply it. So it's a little bit finicky, I'm not going to lie to you, because if I had to do it myself, I've had to re reapply it again. Usually the second time's a charm when I do. I've used a brush to apply it, but I find lately that finger works better for me. And when I use this, this concealer with it, and this is the Sisley. Now, I'm not saying you have to get this concealer. Okay, I'm not saying you have to go buy this. This is really expensive, but it's my holy grail. But whatever concealer you use, you want to use very little and just take it in your fingers and do the same thing and just lightly tap it and leave it alone. You don't want to overwork it because if you do, you're just going to mess it up. So it's really finicky if you do use this. If you don't want to use that, you can use this, which is a mineral color corrector. So you can use this. It's a powder. Sorry, I'm looking at my monitor. So this is a powder. So you can put this on instead of using a cream. It's not going to totally cover it 100% if you have a lot of darkness, but it will somewhat do it. So if you try the cream and it doesn't work, this is another option. This is pricey too. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, but this I, I my last one lasted over a year and I finally threw it out because I was scraping it. Okay, and I, I'm going to be honest, I use mostly like two or three little like colors in here. I wish they would like sell them separately or something instead of in this pan because I find that like I don't use all of them, but I do use them. I use this even for my scar. If my scar gets red or if I have redness around my nose, I use this color corrector. It has an SPF of 20. I love it, but it works really, really well 
with that product. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Would really, really appreciate it if you would share my videos. You can follow me on all the socials. Follow me on TikTok. I'm having fun on there, sharing tips on there as well. And I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye. Correct. It's not I correct. Where are you? So, oh gosh, dang it. Oh, I just squeezed out. Look at, I just squeezed out too much. I got to squeeze it back. Get in there. A new um, cosmetic, not a new cosmetic. It's Annie and welcome back to my, hold on a second.